All right, good day, hi, and welcome. How much? I don't know how much time I got left, but I'm gonna try to see if I can get the fleshing on the on there. Make sure that's done. They recommend a pole. I know the lighting's gonna be bad again. I wish I could get better lighting for you guys. Uh, but this guy is what it is. That's even worse, of course. And it seems like a, there's no place to hang here where I can do it. Well, it'll have to be there then. Well, that's not too bad. So anyway, um, sorry about the bad, bad, bad lighting. This guy is what it is. So I got my belt here. And uh, they recommend a, a beam or a round beam. And I think a piece of PVC is, is about as round a beam as you can get. <laughs> um, I've seen other people do it right on the board. I'm going to try it this way. Or not. That's probably no. It's way too big. So I brought the board. Where did I put the board? I put the board over here. And I'll try this. So I'm just going to always go easy. And what I can do is I can just set it in the vise. I don't need that anymore. Up, something way too high. Get up there, I guess. Somewhere up there. Right back on there. Go right down. I'm gonna go put them kind of sideways. This way, I can start off with the cheap meat. And just gotta watch right around the nose. And let's see if this works first. I got one of these. I don't know if this will work first, but if I can. Nope, that will not work. So. I will go to my normal. This is a dull edge only. I'm gonna have to go very, very gentle with them. Of course, the lighting's horrible. There. Yeah, we'll try like that. Gentle. And I just want to take off the really bad stuff. I got my big tail right there. Yes. Make some more underneath. Check that lighting. Oh. Surely I can find better lighting somewhere. It's even worse. Let's see if this is nice and worse. Even worse. There's a really short, 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 short uh, cable on this. That's worse. Oh, my God. Nah. Sorry guys, it just is what it is. So I'm gonna put it on the mouth. Just rub all that nice and light. Rub one side down. Get all that off, don't cut in. Just get the heavy stuff off. This part's usually not the doesn't take too long. You're going to leave what they call the saddle on this as much as possible. Uh, that's basically this red membrane. You're just getting the meaty, meaty chunky parts off. I should have put the helmet cam on, but maybe on the next one. And again, don't go too hard because again, you don't want to singe the fur on the other side. You know, all this neat stuff off. We'll be cutting the bottom lip off, but still, it's a good idea to get to get it as clean as possible, presentation-wise. Eh? the arm this way and then I'll uh, when I reposition I'll all right off. so all meat all fat that's what you're taking off and he's a little bit fatty this one not crazy fat but he's fat enough or she's fat enough Yeah, and I wish I had a better angle for you, but 
just kind of is what it is. What I'll do though is show you. I'll just show you. And <laughs> these gloves are starting to really stink, so. So you see, like the meat like that, you want off the stuff on the cheeks. Of course, uh, ah, uh, not enough hands. Anyway, so you can see, there's some meat here. Stuff like that obviously has to come off. There's a little bit of fat around here. There's some fat under the arms. Stuff down around here. Uh, so you, you'll do that. And then uh, you can't see that side because again, bad lighting. But you get the idea. So that's what I'm working on. That's how I'm going to work it. Of course, there's trying to keep my camera from getting all gunked up. Uh, yeah, so you take a couple of passes each side. Get it fairly relatively clean. Don't press too hard because you don't want to cut into anything. And then once you got one side kind of done, go on to the other side so that's not too bad. And then I'll bring this up to here and onto the armpit. Maybe, hang on. I don't think this will work. I'll probably be standing right in the way, but we'll try. Try right there. Of course, the cord's in the way. Can't win for, can't win for loosening. Maybe you can see from there. Maybe you can see from there. Alrighty. The armpit there now, so very gentle here because it's a little soft under there. See that fat just rubs right off. So I'm just letting the knife do the work. I'm not really pretty much anything that's going to come off easy is all you're going to be taking off. You're not going to put a lot of so all this stuff here, all this greasy stuff. Membrane a few times, but leave the membrane so that or the saddle that's this part right here, um, whatever. Now you don't have to work crazy quickly, but you will notice that. Uh, oh, I think I just put a hole in it. <laughs> ah, rookie. Gentle, <laughs> really gentle. Oh, my own worst enemy at this. Yeah, nice and gentle. It's pretty gr greasy there, so you just you keep wiping the blade. Just keep turning them. Keep turning. 
Now we're on a full belly side, I guess. Down here. off of them. Then you do too if you get too fat, too greasy. Damp them with the damp them with the rag there so so just run. Yeah, all that stuff at the bottom. I could have been a nipple I hit too so Good news is the holes at the bottom. So maybe, just maybe, I've saved myself. tool here is just kind of a, a fat rubbing tool. I know it's mainly meant for beavers, but it's good for the light stuff coming off. There's no edge on it. You can just rub it down. 